I'm Linda. Welcome to Barlati's Body Blitz, Loop Chisel, Thighs and Abs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat if you're working out on hard floor and a resistance loop. I'm using a medium to heavy resistance loop. You can go as heavy as you like or you can even do this workout without if you don't have one. You could also tie a Pilates band in a knot to form a loop and do it that way. So we're just going to do a really quick mat workout that you can fit in at the end of some cardio or after a more intense exercise session just to really chisel and define all of those smaller muscle groups and to get deep into the thigh muscles especially. So starting off on the mat, line yourself up so that your shoulder is in really nice alignment with your elbow. We're going to extend both of our legs and your loop is going to be really nice and flat just above the knees. So stack your hips. If you want to bend the bottom leg, you can, but if you're just keeping it straight like this, it's going to help you to engage your obliques a little bit more. Really push out of that shoulder, put your hand in front, tummies in. We're just gonna raise that leg. Now we're going to do a rainbow. So we're going to go front, back, front pulse two, back pulse two. Then again, single, back, front for two, back for two. So you're just coming past your mat. Front for two, back for two. Make sure your kneecap stays facing the front the entire time. Back for two. So you're really trying to come up high so that you're stretching that loop. Front, back. Keep the bottom leg really nicely anchored. Hold your tummy in strong, that way you're supporting your back. Back for two. Really nice and straight through the back of the knee. Back for two. Should be feeling that heat now. Two, back, two. Front, back. Draw a nice big rainbow shape. I want you to raise it high in the middle there. Front, two, back, two. Front, back, front, and back. Let's do four more sets. Front, back, front, and back. Three more sets. Front, back, front, and back. Two more. Starting to really feel that now. Back, last set. Front, and back. Now we're moving on to obliques. I want you to bend your legs. We're going to Roll back onto the meaty part of our glutes. You can put your other hand behind if you prefer. Your legs are at 45. We're going to bend up, straighten, one leg up, then both legs up, okay? Bend again. So you bring your chest towards that knee, both legs. It's bend. It's one leg, it's both legs. Your knees are facing the front. Don't let your knees turn up to the ceiling. Your tummies are in, it's bend, it's one leg, it's both legs. You're pinching in here. You're feeling it right in here. <sighs> Try to keep your body upright so your chest is nice and tall and you're not sinking into this shoulder. Bend, up, up. Keep going. If you can hover that bottom leg, see how I'm hovering? then please do that, it makes it even tougher. <sighs> nice burn in those obliques. Bend, up, up, keep going. Single, double, a few more sets like this. Single, double, three more sets. Bend, single, double, two more sets, bend, Single, double, last set. Bend, single, double. Nice job. So that also got those outer thighs. Now we're moving the loop down around the ankle of this foot and step on it with the back foot, okay? So you want it around the ankle of the front foot and anchor it with the back foot. This leg is bent, front leg straight. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the outer thighs. So it's gonna be front, back, front for two, back for two. So 
find that position where you feel there's enough tension on the loop, front, back, one, two, one, two, and hover your leg so that your kneecap stays facing the front and you're never really touching the mat with the lower portion of your leg, okay? Of course, your thigh is going to be touching, but I want you to think about keeping that leg up, front foot two, back foot two, front, back, front foot two, back foot two. You need to stretch up high. Okay, that's the only way you're going to feel that tension from the loop in your inner thigh. That's where we're working in here. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Ah, oh, starting to feel that now. Still feeling this oblique area as well, which is a bonus. Back, front, back, front, back. Let's do four sets. One, front, back, two, front, back, three, front, back, last one. Wow, okay, we're doing exactly the same thing to the other side. So put it back above your knees, come into the same sideline position. So both legs are extended, your toes are pointed, your hips are forward slightly stacked on top of each other, tummy's pulled in, everything is aligned, come out of that shoulder, hand in front, and we're going to lift that leg, front, back, front foot two, back foot two. So you find your positioning where you can really sweep that leg up, making a rainbow shape, front, back, tap lightly, but the emphasis is the up, okay? You need to be pushing high enough so that you are pushing against that loop, creating more intensity for your outer thigh. Front foot two. Your leg is super straight. You're pointing through the toe. The bottom leg is anchored, so your kneecap of both legs is facing to the front. Front, back. Tap foot two, back foot two. Feeling that heat yet? Right in here, on the side of those glutes and outer thighs. <sighs> Breathe through it. Remember, you can do this without a loop. You can add a lighter loop. You can add a heavier loop. You can even add a second loop if you want to go crazy. Or some ankle weights. Front foot two. Big sweep up, up. It's the up where you're gonna feel it the most. Four sets. Front foot two, back foot two, three sets. Keep breathing. Two sets. Last set. Front and back. Wow, okay, so remember, Roll back onto the meteor part of your glute. We're going to bring our knees at about 45 degrees. We're going to bring our hand behind, come up double leg, extend single leg, then both legs. So you need to crunch in here, okay? The single one, you're not going to be able to get your upper body to meet the legs as much. But here you can, a little bit here and more here. Okay, try to squeeze as much as you can in this oblique area and keep your kneecaps to the front and hover your leg down the bottom. See how I'm not dropping my leg down? And both. It's bend, it's single, it's both. If you can't do both straight, then do another single or do another bend. Choose your levels here. Try not to roll too far back. You want to try and keep your hips semi-stacked here. Up, single, double, bend, single. Are you feeling your obliques, that muffin top area? That's what we're hitting here. 
as well as more outer thigh. No mercy for the other thigh. Just breathe through it. And up, should we do four more? Bend, single, double, bend, single, double. Two more, bend, single, double. Last one, bend, single, double. Nice job, quickly sit up and put that loop around the ankle of the front foot and underneath the foot of the back foot. Come back down, anchor the loop with your back leg. The other foot is straight and the kneecap is to the front. Get your alignment again, make sure your hips are stacked here, your tummy's pulled in. We're doing that same move. So it's front, back, front foot two, back foot two. Front, back, front, Back, wow, I can feel this one straight away. I probably shouldn't have done this exercise seeing I worked in the thighs yesterday, but I use the ball, so this is doing something different, and it's always good to challenge each muscle using different pieces of equipment. And back, try to never put that leg down. See how I'm hovering the whole time? And you need to come out far enough here so that you feel the loop stretching crazy. You need to stretch it as much as you can. Up, up. Keep breathing through it. It's lactic acid, that's what that burn is. And you can keep breathing, supplying oxygen to that muscle and that is going to help you, I promise. Back, front, back, front. Back. Don't turn your kneecap up to the ceiling. It's really important to keep your legs super straight here and keep your knee facing the front of the room. Front, back, front, back. Four more sets. Front, back, front for two, back. Three more sets. You can do this, just breathe through the burn. This is two. This is the last set. Front and back, wow. Okay, felt that burn, but we're doing some more. One more round of outer, abs and inner. So head back over to the other side, and we're gonna come down again. If this position ever gets too much for you, you can come all the way down like this, okay? But the reason I like to stay up here is because you're also engaging this muffin top by pushing up out of that shoulder, keeping your tummy in and really thinking about keeping everything tight here. Okay, so now we're going to straighten the bottom leg. You're going to face it to the corner and we're gonna keep this top leg straight with a flexed foot. We're going to come in push to the back, come in, push to the front, then back for two and front for two. Back to single, 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 double, 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 double. Single, single, double, 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 double. So you need to really think about pushing away a cement block with the bottom of your foot. You need to keep your leg high, so you're engaging your outer thigh here, and you need to keep your kneecap to the front. Single, single, back foot two, front foot two. Keep going. We're using a bit of glute here as we're pushing, so it means bigger muscle groups, more reps to feel that burn. Back foot two, you need to keep it up. If you're just using a medium loop like me, your leg needs to be high, okay? Otherwise, you're not going to feel it. Front for two, single, single. Back for two, front for two. Really try to stay stable in the upper body. That's what's going to use your core. Keep everything upright. Front for two, single, single. Back for two, front for two. Keep going, keep it high. Squeeze your thighs and glutes as you push. Okay, you need to create your own intensity. Four more sets. Back for two, front for two. Three sets. Back for two, 
front for two, two sets, back for two, front for two, last set, back for two, front for two. Nice. Now, come up into a pretzel position. This is what I need you to do. The loop goes around the front ankle and around the back thigh, above the knee. Front ankle, back thigh. So that when you sit in this Z shape, you've got the loop in line, roughly in line, okay? Now, sit really upright, hold your tummy in, and try to keep this knee in line with the hip. We're gonna do some pretzel crunches. Now, you've seen me do these before. If it's too much with the loop, then do it without. So we're gonna come up for two, then we're gonna come back, knee down, foot up, back for two. So it's front, foot down, then it's back, knee down. It's front, jackknife your arm back and touch your toe. It's front, so you're pulling your knee up to your elbow, then foot to your hand. Knee to your elbow, foot to your hand. I know it's slightly awkward, but stick with it. I promise you, you're gonna feel it in a few reps. It's knee to elbow, it's foot to hand. Now, I want you to not have too much weight on this side, okay? That's important. Don't sink into the shoulder. Is that getting hard yet? It's getting hard for me. This one, hardly being able to lift that leg off the mat anymore. You're getting bonus outer thigh and glute here as well with that pretzel position. But fight for it. So it's knee to elbow, knee down foot, foot. Jackknifing your uppers and your lowers. Annihilating those obliques. A few more like this. Ah. Oh. Let's do four more sets after this one. Okay, so four. Up, up. This is three. Ah. This is two. Up, up. Last one. Breathe out. Up, up. Nice job. Okay, so now we're going to do inner thigh again. So I want you to anchor that loop around the back leg again, and we're going to keep it around the ankle of the front leg. Okay, so same thing. So once again, if you wanna come down here, you can. Otherwise, stack your hips, nice alignment, tummies in. We're gonna bend this leg. Okay, so we're going to go front, out, front, out. Front for two, back for two. Single, single, double, 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 double. Kneecap to the front. Two singles, double, double. You need to keep your leg high. See how my leg is hovering the entire time? Double, single, single. Lock out behind the knee each time. Kneecap to the front. Single, single, Double, double, straighten out. If your foot is starting to cramp, you can flex or you can make like a Barbie foot. Okay, like this, double, double. It's not about what your foot is doing, it's about what your inner thigh is doing. Keep it high. The higher, the tighter. A few more like this. Single, double, double, single, single, double, double. Three more sets. Breathe. It's fast because I want you to keep your heart rate up. Two, double, double. Last one, feeling the hip flexors too, I know. That's okay, it's a bonus. Double. Okay, other side. Back around above the knees. This is the last three exercise groupings. You can do this. So remember what we did before? We faced this, this leg towards the corner. We're really nice and upright. And we're going to go front, back, 
double, back, single, single, double, double. Now, the higher you keep your leg, the less likely your loop is going to start scrunching up. So you need to keep your leg up high and keep that loop as flat as possible. If you bring your knee in closer to your body here, you're gonna feel a little bit of lower abs as well, which is a bonus, right? We want to multitask, it's a short workout. Single, single. Push that cement block away with the bottom of your foot. Really think about squeezing all through this outer thigh area. The entire time, keep it tight. Keep it up. I want a fast pace. Please keep it up. Try to keep up with me. If you can lie down and it's more comfortable in your waistline, then do that. But try to keep up the pace. I would rather you drop the loop and keep up the pace, okay? Or go for a lighter loop. Because this is also getting a cardio factor for you. A little bit of a sweat happening. Forward, back. Keep your knee to the front at all times. Never turn it out to the ceiling. Your tummy is in. You're not slouching. Front, back. Keep going. We need to do lots of sets because this one is easier than just the plain raises, okay? Front, back. Are you feeling a little bit of a pinch here as well in the muffin top? That's what we're going for. Front, back, front, back. Okay, four sets. Front, back, double, double. Front, back, double, double. Two more sets. Front, back, double, double. Last set, front, back, double, double. Nice job. Come up. Pretzel position. Okay, so the front leg has a loop around the ankle. The back leg has the loop just above the knee. Okay, so try and make it flat. Try and keep it slightly aligned. Your knee is in line with your belly button and you're slightly leaning over, but you're not slouching. You're trying to stay as upright as possible. Keep this leg in line with your hip. Don't bring it further in, otherwise you'll lose the exercise. Keep it in. Your hand is by your ear, but you're not pulling on your neck, and you're up for two, then back for two. So it's knee to elbow, blow out, then it's arm to foot, and your knee's pointing down. So knee is slightly up here, now foot is slightly up. I know it's hard, and on one side it's gonna feel harder than the other side, but I want you to fight for it. Just think squeezing, your ribs to your hips. It's not a huge movement. You probably won't be able to get your leg up very high here, but I promise you, if you focus on alignment, you're gonna feel it. Keep your knee back. Don't let it creep to the front. Make sure you're looking there and your knee's in line with your hip. Do not let that loop go into a banana shape, okay? It's gotta be stretched the whole time. Move that other leg forward a bit if you have to. Keep going. Try very hard to get your foot slightly up here, slightly higher than your knee. Keep going. Up and up. You can do this. Squeeze it. Up and up. A few more. You know you survived on the other side. Just think about something else. Really exaggerate that squeeze here. You're leaning into it, okay? But not huge amounts of weight on this hand. It's just for balance. You should be feeling this supporting leg as well. Let's do four sets from here. One. Up and up. Don't let the knee creep. Two. Keep it back. Up and up. Three. Squeeze it, up and up, and this is four. Up and up, nice job, real burn in here. Back to inner thighs, so remember, around the ankle of the front leg, around the foot of the back leg, 
back into position. So you're stacking your hips if you're up here with me. You've got the back leg really anchored. This front leg is out further and we're going to do so back, front, back, front, back foot two, front foot two. Now you can keep your foot pointed or flexed. Foot two, front. It doesn't matter if we went the other way before, like to the back first or to the front first. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing is that we're focusing on form. We're keeping our kneecap to the front and we're keeping it really high. So it's front, back, front, back. Two, two, one, one, two, two. Keep your legs super straight. I want it locked out each time. Two, so straight behind the knee. Front, two, two. Hover your leg. I know it's so tempting to let it drop. This is our last exercise. So I want you to give it all you've got. Pull out and pull up. Two, two. You can do this. Keep breathing. Front, front. Ah, oh, real burn in here now. Can you feel it? Two, two. Let's keep going for another five sets. Two, two. This is four. Two, two. This is three. Two, two. This is two. Come on. I'm suffering too. This is the last one. Two, two. Ah, that's it. Put your loop down. We're just going to quickly stretch it. Legs apart, chest forward. Ah, oh, that really burned. Keep breathing. And then just come to the side and stretch back. Lengthening the front of the thigh. Then just sit this way and stretch over, opening up the obliques. And just switch the other side, lengthen the front of the thigh. That was short and sharp. You don't need a huge long workout. Over and over in order to hit all of those trouble spots. Now just for the outer thighs, cross your legs and come forward. Keep your back flat here. We're really just trying to lengthen out, stretch through here. And then just switch which leg is in front. You can definitely stretch longer than me. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for a resistance loop chisel for thighs and abs. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you the next time.